Hello and welcome. In case you didn't watch my other video, which I assume you didn't because it's long and boring and it's about facts and all that stuff. Um, I'm playing as Lan Zhang. I have just sent pe I have just sent alliances to an alliance to Lan Na, and then I sent a royal marriage offer to uh, Dai Vet, and then I'm hoping that we can ally with both of these people, and then we can um, go and attack down here in Champa. And I'm hoping to become a strong military power, and my first goal is to have an ocean province. So we will start the time now. We've entered a royal marriage with Ivette. Our relations have improved. Lana has Lanna, I'm sorry, accepted an offer in a military alliance. And we have completed our mission to form an alliance with Lanna. What? Well, I guess it was Lanna offering us an alliance, but we already did it, so it just removed it, I suppose. Uh, disputed succession, we don't really need that as of now, I don't believe. Uh, we'll probably try Lanna, but I doubt that's going to work. And then maybe the other one, or Divet, I'm sorry. So our next one will probably be... Form an alliance with thy vet. I think will they allow that? Yes, they will, but. Oh, it's only a month. Yeah, we'll do that. Form an alliance with them. And then we will spread our culture down to our southernmost province. Speaking of that, I will um, start making some units, probably just some longbowmen. And look and see that this is the best, it's the quickest. And then here. We have four, five, six. They have five. So six is good. And then we'll move our army down to our southern border. Hopefully China does not attack. Oh, we have a horseman in here. Don't care about advisors. And... I guess we can keep that. Our diplomat has arrived home. Three, two, one. Okay, he's also arrived home. Why do I keep zooming in and out? That's annoying. It's annoying for me, much less for you guys. Sorry. So, alliance offer from them. Except, of course, because we have our goal to do so. Another temper siege and another 25 diplomatic power. An alliance from Pegu. This nation over here. Um, sure, maybe we can flank Siam once that happens. And in case you didn't see that other video, I'm calling them Siam because I'm not going to call them Ayuthia. That's not that's not too hard. Are you, uh, maybe I'll just call them Ayuthia. Probably still pronouncing it wrong, but... Um, so, let's look at these other nations. They are a vassal of Ayuthia. You, okay, so I talked about um, the rivals we can make. And where is it? Diplomacy, I believe. Yeah, here we go. And our first r rival, I believe, will be Champa. Here, because you try to rival with countries that are relatively uh, strength, same strength as you. And I believe Champa is. And I believe I will do a Ruthia at some point, but not quite right now. I believe. I don't really want to have a an entire. Um, two-sided conflict on my hands at the moment maybe after we conquer them but not right now so our next mission would be um don't have a royal marriage oh with them okay so we'll do that i lied about um sending our culture we'll do a royal marriage with them in what is it eight days Speed up time a bit, maybe. We have been warned not to go to war with any countries by the Ming Dynasty. So if we go to war, um, they have the option to um, declare war on us or join um, the country we're going to war against, which would not be good because we would lose that war. In a previous game I played as them, 
I went to war with Champa anyways with Divet helping me and they never um they never uh, intervenes against um us. So we actually won the war, but I messed up the peace offer and then it didn't go well and they became our vassal or something and I didn't want that to happen. So I'm doing this again because I found it fun. It's a new scenario. Again, this is the entire world that we know of. Even though we know the entire map here. Sorry. Zooming back in. You just stop zooming out and in. Um, royal marriage. Yes, that's what I came here for. Our legitimacy will be changed by minus two in signing this deal due to their inferior prestige. Well, I don't care. I'm going to try to annex them peacefully. Next mission. Claim your rival's province. Ooh, that's what I want. Right now, we'll spread our culture to here. And now we are... Okay, we sent a priest to change the culture. I think that's a priest. Not really sure how effective that is. But, you know... Sure, I guess, if it works. Okay, let's see. The Shan Water Alliance. They did in my other one. Yes, they do. Now we have an alliance with them. I don't believe there's a re there is a limit. I was going to say restriction. Um, to how many royal marriage from Shan? Of course. Um, I don't think there's a limit to how many alliances we can have. Actually, there is. Not know there was, but I don't think there's any nations around here that are either strong enough um, to help us or would want to actually uh, assist us. The only other nation is Siam. I'm just going to keep calling them that. Um, but they hate us as well. As well as China, they hate us. Um, don't need this. Man, I was going to see what we needed for that again, but we need... Oh, here we have it. Um, royal marriage, we have that. Military alliance, we have that. Relations, at least 190. Same religion, we have that. And they must be at peace. So, let's... Relations. Improve relations. There we go. And... Do we have a cast of spelling? No, we do not. So we will have to make one, which means that do not want to improve relations. Um, we will have a claim on their province when we make it. However, we can only um, get claims on neighboring provinces, which I find terrible. Even when you have uh, ports and you have the ability to do so, you can only do it on neighboring provinces, and I find that silly. I mean, you can't go to war for no reason, but why can't you get a reason for a nation that's um, not next to you? I don't know. We'll move our new troops down here. We'll now have 600. One moment. Um, so I'm back. And we are moving our troops south. I know that I just said that, but I'm just repeating it. And now we can merge with our 6,000 units against their 5,000. So, I think we'll be fine. It does not tell us if any rivers are in the way. I know there is for this reason, but we can probably go around to here and down their capital. But I believe by that time they will just cut across... So maybe that's not the best idea. Hopefully, um, Divet helps us. Yeah, got it right. Yay. Um, with this, they did before. Or they joined the war. They never really helped us. They had lots of troops, but they never did anything. Hopefully, they will this time. Still making $1.14 or $1.14 gold a month. Which means I think we can make more units. Probably a cavalry. Calvary. 
It's gonna take more days to walk from here as it is, but like that. Seven is an odd number, so I will probably make another. Once we have enough money, I'll probably make another um, longbowman. Even though they're carrying spears, they are longbowmen. Asian longbow. So that's the thing. So our horseman's made. And go down here. Do not know why this is red. You cannot have more than 50% cavalry compared to your infantry in a battle. Yay, we got culture, and then we have 10 diplomatic power. Really not a good, not too good of a reward, but hey, we have our uh, new culture down there, so that's good. Uh, new mission. We can accumulate money. Repair relations with Khmer, which is just a subject nation. I don't think we should do that. Uh-oh. That goal isn't there anymore. Man. Okay, let's accumulate money then. Man. I don't know what this rank is. I guess it's the world rank that we're 43rd. Not too sure, but we'll just let this um, raise more and more. It's probably not going to get to 45. It could if we don't spend money, but we're going to keep spending money. 52% done with fabricating claims with a 0.02% risk of discovery. And that's so insignificant, I doubt that's ever going to happen. Probably just jinxed it. Landing, improving relations. I'm feeling like I should improve relations with the Ming Dynasty because... If we improve relations, maybe they'll find it less to try to kill us. Manchu wants to ally with us. Does Japan want to ally with us? They do not like us for some reason. Minus 10. Siam would probably be a good uh, nation to play as. You can go down here, try to get um, this nation here. Um, Pagu to the side. Probably be an annex Lanzang. The one we are. We managed to get hold of a holy white elephant, a symbol of royal justice and power and peace and prosperity. Should have been some commas there, not... I don't know. Um, Kingdom Splendid, one stability, yay. That's good, we could have spent our own money, but or our own administrative power, but why would we want to do that? Seventy-eight percent completed with the thing. Now our only question we're gonna have, why is this a wasteland? That's not the only question we're gonna have, but why can no one colonize this or transverse it? You can go over these mountains, why can't you go over this? Is it like a holy ground or something that they never colonized on and they don't want you to colonize on it, so it's... Is that like where... No? Huh. Well, anyways, before I got completely sidetracked, the only questions we asked that... The only question we have to ask ourselves is do we want to gamble that the Ming Dynasty will not, in fact, declare war on us because we're going to war against this nation? I'm feeling yes. I'm feeling I will gamble, but I'm not too sure. We've gained the Conquest Cap, cast a spell against Champa. And we are now. Lowering, you now have lowered. We're now losing money, not lowering money. Um, literally, the only possible thing we can do is lower our army maintenance, nothing else. 
Well, we could kick our advisor. But I think we're fine. Okay. You know Diplomat Suspend. He will get here in two days. He's here. Declare war. Willing allies. Livet and Lanan will join. And then the other... Oh, and Pegu will as well. Shan won't. I'm not too surprised. Too far away. Oh, they have a they have a pretty large military actually. You know, like about um, Divet is it has a pretty large navy. They have what like eleven ships, and then they have two. They have a good army. Cross your fingers. <laughs> 